Good afternoon, traders. This is Christian from Hertz Tribeca Trade Group with your end of day recap for Monday. And um, another decent day for the averages. Really, where the outperformance was again was uh, in the small caps. So IWM up 1.2%, basically closed on the highs of the day. Spies finished up 40 basis points. Q's underperformed again. So, you know, you kind of look back, and what I have in, in front of uh, in front of you in the screen is the orange line, which is IWM, just seems vaguely familiar to what we saw back um, back around the election time. If you remember what happened, the small caps really outperformed and got going right after the election. And it kind of feels like wave two with some politics in the headlines with um, with the tax plan. And um, you could see IWM get take, you know, a, a one leg higher right after the election, you know, kind of dormant. Um, for most of the year besides that, you know, we had a little bit of a move up and then a, and then a big move down right around the um, when the hurricanes were coming out. Uh, we, it was a bend but no break and, and a big rally since then. And if you remember as well what happened when this when this big move happened in IWM in the small caps, the Qs didn't do anything. Really what was kind of left out of the rally uh, were, were the Qs. And it kind of feels like what's going on right now. So... Uh, I'm going to say the, the R word again, but it just kind of feels like that rotation is taking place. Now, a lot of what the move I think today uh, was as well is, is first of the month flows. Um, you know, that is something that I experienced as an institutional trader. Uh, the fact that on the first of the month, there's a, there's a bunch of money that's being put to work uh, or rotated around amongst the major caps. Um, you know, when I made markets for... Uh, for ETFs, one of that was one of the big things that we always noticed on the first of the month and the fifteenth of the month. There could have been a trade between the sectors, you know, some some migration between uh, the sectors, mid cap and small cap. There was a lot of mid cap volume today. IJH, uh, the mid caps did outperform as well. They were up close to a percent, but really the small caps, which I'll continue to marvel out here for a se for a second, with now an eighty five RSI, really really getting overbought. But I've said that for the last couple of days. Um, extending up 1.2%. And that's, again, really where the outperformance was in the major indices. You know, spies held up fine. They were up 40 basis points, but the Qs were, were negative for, for part of the day. So really, um, you know, interesting there. And, um, you know, I think I looked at the the FANG stocks, those, those momentum stocks. I maybe looked at those once today. Really didn't trade them because that's really not where the... Um, where, where the momentum is. So really strong uh, certain areas of the market. What we noticed today as well was uh, a couple sectors just con continuing from last week. Um, we called this, you know, right off the bat last week with, um, with biotech, you know, started to get outside of this. Uh, you know, this is not small cap biotech, by the way. I see this being misquoted all the time. Um, financial media this is this is all of biotech it's a full representation so yes there's small caps in there there's large caps in there it's equally weighted but it's not small it's not just small cap biotech um that would be wrong uh ibb you know so that was the other thing is you know people started to look at this uh towards the end of last week but really xbi made the move first um you know and, and has has had better uh outperformance um and then healthcare as well made the turn. Um, I've been long the XLV since in here, and you know there's been a lot of activity in some individual names. Gilead had a, Gilead had a real nice day today. Uh, there was a, a nice call buyer today. I took that trade today, um, hit two targets in it, so um, was pretty pretty nicely uh, traded. And and you know this was a name that suffered last week. So when I saw the call buying going up and a name. And, and a larger biotech name that was kind of uh, under pressure last week. I didn't hesitate. So um, that was a nice trade. But just to c continue, there was also some call buying in Pfizer again. Um, Pfizer getting back up to where uh, it was just a few weeks ago. Uh, Bristol Myers also uh, seeing call buying and, and a nice move. So um, all, all kinds of healthcare and biotech uh, participating today. But really, um, you know, where we caught that move was uh, was last week coming out of a consolidation zone. Uh, besides healthcare and biotech, uh, I noticed that um, the 
steel names and, and metals and mining had a real nice day today, up 1.7%. Started to see a little bit of call buying, a little bit of wake up in this group. You know, this group has kind of gotten beaten up um, as well the last couple weeks and is now also turning and looking to go higher here. So if you're not in this group at all, I got, I've been long steel uh, since the break of the 200 day moving average um, over here. And I've kind of just been sitting with it rolling. I really haven't added to it. <clears throat> you know, broke broke below the 50-day moving average for a couple days, but uh, reclaimed it today. So um, good to see some strength out of this group and some different names. Material material names were also very strong today. The XLB um, new 52-week high for this one. I think people were uh, you know a couple people were were looking at this name. Uh, not this name, but this group last week as it didn't make a 52-week high. Well, there you go, up 1% and a nice day. So <laughs> it's kind of what we've been seeing um, on a day-to-day -day basis is different groups breaking out. And it just continues to be, you know, not everything. I mean, this is this is really unusual that, you know, nor I, I, I think when, when markets really get ahead of themselves, you see everything break out, but it's not everything. Like, like I said, uh, you know, the material names did not break out last week and, and they did it today. So um, home builders, have, which have also been very strong, a little bit of a doji candle today, but this has been another group that's that's broken out. Uh, so that was the uh, sectors. In terms of the underperformers, uh, energy actually came back. Crude was really weak today. Uh, was finished a little bit off the lows, but below the back below the 200-day moving average, XLE held up pretty well. It came back. You could see a green candle from where we opened. Um, I did uh, actually jump out of. I had a couple energy longs on, and I jumped out of them. I don't. I didn't like the move in crude. They held up well today, which allowed me to kind of get out of them decently. But I, I was long some XL, a residual position of XLE, and I was long some APA. I got out of, out of both of those names, so I'm back to little to no exposure in in energy. We'll see if if oil can get back below the 200-day moving average. I'm all about it. But um, you know, a decent move down there, right on the 200-day um, moving average. Uh, again, I think energy was great today, held up pretty strong. Maybe that's you know a positive indicator, but. Um, I can get right back into those names. It's not a big deal if we get back above the 200 day. Uh, consumer staples also continue to suffer a little bit. Those underperformed the market. Those were down 20 basis points. Uh, so call activity today, option activity today, uh, kind of a little bit all over the place. The Also, I, I didn't mention the bank names, but they, they again had some more strength today. I don't think they were one of the best performers, but um, where is this thing? KRE, yeah, KRE finished up six, uh, 60 basis points, which is still pretty strong. Uh, so just kind of to go through the list a little bit, we saw some two-way flow in the queues. We saw an early call buyer. Then we saw some big put buyers, a couple big, really big put buyers in the queues. Uh, right around midday today, which kind of drove them to um, to negative territory. Um, I mentioned Gilead. Deer had a nice call buyer today. Uh, tech, which is, um, I like this name. I was, lo was looking at this name because we saw some calls go up uh, towards the end of last week in TECK. There was a couple of repeaters today. If you take a look at this name, and I just mentioned the XME doing very well. This is, um, Tech is one of those names in mining, mining, smelting, and refining. Company mines zinc, copper. You know, so these base metals that have been doing pretty well, uh, I think this is this is a pretty interesting name. Now they purchased the calls right around their earnings date, but still looking purely at it technically, um, it's holding the 200-day moving average. So it's not overbought. It's kind of on the dip. It's been hanging in there. I would say abandon it if it gets below the 200-day moving average. Um, LUV Southwest Airlines also saw a little bit of call buying as it did on Friday. Um, I believe they added to their position. This is what they did on Friday. Um, there were there were uh, 2,600 of the October 57 and a half calls that were bought, and then today, uh, it right around the same quantity. But I I would believe that these were also um, added to for today for uh, for LUV. Um, in the tech space, uh, we saw a big Cree buyer, big Cree call buyer. After this name has been um, quietly been been really has been on a nice run the last week. Uh, There's about 10,000 of them. It was a little bit dif difficult to tell if they, they, if they were all bought, but I think by you could tell by the price action. Um, don't know what that 
red big red bar is there after the close maybe that's on little volume as it looks like the price is back here but this was uh, right where the calls were bought right at right on the move outside of value so uh, those were the November 29 calls that went up they started buying those I think right at uh, 121 and then bought a big block at 130 so uh, that's how you could tell sometimes if um, if they're bought, if the second order goes up at a higher price, which it did. So pretty pretty decent block there. A couple other names, uh, BZUN. This is a very volatile Chinese internet name. Uh, I've been I've been long this name, uh, and I've kind of just stayed with it. <clears throat> I consider taking some profits here after this nice run. I got long this on the, uh, the break of the 50-day moving average, and it's been a real nice name. And then take a look at what it did today, right on the support. You know, it did have a decent amount of down days, but um, real nice, and they came after this twice today. Um, so if I show you just the, uh, just the opening sweeps, January 30 calls for 720. Uh, that was at 11 o'clock, and then they came in for more uh, at 770. So they're looking for more upside in this one. These these are these are in the money options. That's why they're so expensive. But um, you know, I, I would look for some continuation in this name tomorrow. Keep in mind, China is closed all week long. So that was also uh, a highlight. Intel, uh, a lot of calls going up in Intel again, uh, as Intel has. Uh, let's face it, Intel is broken out here. Um, real strong day up two and a half percent. So this is what happens sometimes when names finally get out of their um, their sideways range. You know this you could draw a big long triangle. You know this thing almost broke to the downside, came right back into the zone, and and is now uh, it is now breaking out. Let's face it, um, outside of this thirty eight dollar range. So real real nice move there. Uh, Cree. Uh, there were some Expedia calls, SPB calls, a couple other names. And then there was a decent amount of put buying today, too. There was some put buying and some names that have run up uh, quite nicely. So we do have some earnings tomorrow. We have Lennar tomorrow. Ford reports their, their numbers before the open as well tomorrow. So that's it. Um, another, another strong day. Uh, the one thing I'll kind of leave it there with is while those first of the month flows uh, were nice today, um, there are no second of the month flows, so usually it's it's a it's a one day deal. So um, I would not expect the same outperformance in those small caps today, but who knows? All right, have a great night, everybody. See you tomorrow.